Let's build Palo Alto uh, firewall up in EFNG. I will follow the procedure on the EFNG website. I will just make a few tweaks, which I know I need to do to spin up the Palo Alto firewall. What you need is the instance of EFNG, image for the Palo Alto firewall. On the EFNG website, the procedure is for the images uh, version 7 and 8. I'm already using a version 11. I know it works in EFNG, so um, we will build it around the version 11. You need uh, something to transfer the file. I'm using a FileZilla and you need SSH access to your EFNG. So let's begin. Um, first thing, I'm on my EFNG. I will log in to my EFNG console. I'm using HTML5 console. Um, so just sign in. I will create a brand new lab. I call it a Palo Alto. And now if I try to add it a Palo Alto, we can see it's a grayed out because the image is not available there. So now we need to start and adding the image. Here on the EFNG website under the documentation and uh, how to create images is the procedure how to install the Palo Alto file. There are two options, either OVA image or KVM image. I will be using the KVM image. The first thing is to create the folder to hold the Palo Alto image. Uh, you can go and SSH to your EFNG and do it exactly as it is here through the, through the commands. Absolutely fun. It works well. Um, I'm used to using a FileZilla every time, every time I'm building it. So I will use the FileZilla. So I will SFTP to my EFNG. Now I'm connected. I'm going to create a folder. The folder should be in an op, unit lab, add-ons, quemu, and then the name of the folder. Please keep the naming the same, just to change the version of the Palo Alto image using. So um, I'm going um, opt, unit lab, add-ons, quemu, and I will create a folder here. So create a directory. In my case, it will not be a.0.1, but it will be 11. As you can see, here is my latest image for the Palo Alto firewall. Uh, if your company already have a Palo Alto firewall and you need to get this kind of the image for the uh, your EFNG instance, just ask someone from Palo Alto support. I think they will be more than happy to supply you with the image if it's for the labbing purposes. Uh, so Palo Alto 11, create the image, done. I open the folder and I will copy over the image. It will take a few minutes, so I will speed up through this process. Now the image being copied over is nearly done. We need to complete the last two steps, and that's uh, renaming the image as per procedure and then fixing the permission. Fixing the permission is the same for nearly every image on the EFNG. So image has copied over. So the first thing we will rename it. So I will grab the name, copy it and do rename, hit enter, image rename. Now, to fix the permissions, uh, you need to log in to your EFNG via SSH. So I bring up my SSH console. I'm already logged into my EFNG. Uh, copy the command. It will ask me for the password. Yes, so I need to do sudo. Copy the pa copy the command again. Uh, put my password in, and the command is there. So we follow the procedure. The image should be now available on our EFNG platform. So let's minimize our windows, and going back to my EFNG topology. If I click it, I did a note. I type Palo Alto, we can see it's already here. So we have the image 11.01, the one we uploaded. Uh, everything can stay by default. The only thing I know I need to change is the size of the memory. I know if I go 4 gig, it usually doesn't boot up for me. So I've changed it to the 6. I know 6 is enough. And the last thing, I click Save. And because um, my EFNG is running on a separate PC, to gain the access, I need to install a network. In my case, it will be Management Cloud Zero. 
and connect it to the firewall. That should give me the uh, connectivity between, between my local LAN and the firewall. So, and the connection on the firewall should go to the management interface. Uh, management, yeah, click save. Now the last thing is to boot up the firewall. Again, it will take more than a few minutes to boot up the firewall for the first time. So just be patient with it, wait for it to boot up, and then we will do the initial configuration. So selecting the device, start the device, device is started, and I will pause the video and start again once the device is fully boot up. I left it more than 10 minutes, so maybe even 15 minutes to boot it up. So double click the firewall and the default password should be admin admin, the old password, new password, just create a new password here. Now, <clears throat> yeah, it's a configured with the old credential, that's fine. It's just a warning where we should be able to now gain the access. The first thing on a Palo Alto firewall is to change the command line to the set format. So from the XML to the set, and I believe the command is set CLI config out format to set. Yes. Now, if you go to configured mode, show device config at uh, DHCP, yes, that's what I was expecting, and show I need to be out of the configuration mode, show interface management yes so it looks like uh, because obviously my homeland is DHCP and I've connected the firewall management into my homeland through the cloud zero network the firewall received IP address from my um, home router so let's see if I can access the firewall so it should be on a 192.168.0.158 so it should be HTTPS 192.168.0.158 Hey, and we have access to the firewall. So it was the password you set up in the CLI, so it's not admin admin, but the password you created in the CLI. And now we have access to Palo Alto Firewall version 11. So this is how easy it is to spin up the Palo Alto Firewall in FNG. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.